Get back in the house. Own location down here at Barrel House. Jay Look. from This Guy's Thoughts right here. Finally hooking up with Rod. There you go. There you go. So a couple, well, technically I'm on the Kentucky side, but I pretty much am Ohio too. So from the region, getting together, drinking some beers. We may have a couple of the guys come up from Barrel House. Great little spot here in Dayton. I'll have a video up on the channel later on, which will show the outside and the inside and some of the cool things in here. A lot of beer on the shelves. Obviously going to make a beer run. What's up, Skip? Cheers, homie. How is it up there in Canada, my friend? And uh, just going to kind of kick it and enjoy some beers. Got a flight here with, of course, some um, HTO. You got to you don't like dehydrate yourself, so make sure you have the water around, right? So, right here, a flight yep. of the beers. So we're gonna enjoy some of this, kind of give you guys a little bit of a breakdown there. On this Saturday, game day Saturday. You call yep. a fan? Yep, uh, fighting Illini football, so I don't have anything to root for. Oh, okay. Fighting Illini, West Virginia. We are the primetime game tonight on ABC, at least in our area, against Oklahoma. Let's hope the wheels come off the schooner and we get that win, so. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, tell me about your channel. So, hey, check my channel out. This guy's thoughts. Just approaching 1K on my viewers. I do mostly beer, some uh, seltzers. I know you guys, all right, most of you thumbs down on that stuff. Coffee, energy drinks, all kinds of stuff like that. Swing by the channel, check it out. Yeah, Jay's got some great stuff on there. I've actually had him on his link to his channel on one of the Fan Fridays as well. So, good stuff there. Known Jay here for a little bit of time. Finally glad to hook up, and that's the fun thing with YouTube, getting to meet up with other people you've talk with over the years but you know, yeah, that's just like i know you with. man it does yeah. it feels like i know you yeah it's like you feel like you know that person when you finally get to connect so that's a good thing there and as always appreciate those thumbs up and everything like that hopefully you guys like this i'll try to hit the comments as i see them pop up i'm actually looking away at the camera here so the comments do pop up uh different points and i'll try to knock those out too so if i miss anything i do apologize but the first beer i'm actually going to which one get into get is the land grant the Alboro Kirta, and I didn't write the whole description down. I'm actually using my phone, so I can't actually pull up my untapped on it, but it is a nice looking beer. Yep, I'll get into that same yeah. one. And Land Grant, great little brewery here out of Columbus. Definitely recommend checking them out when you get a chance as well. Uh, Jay, he said, Jay, can you repeat, I'm oh, sorry, Jay, can you get your hands on some Honey Dead Hard Seltzer? Oops. What was that? Honey Dead Hard Seltzer. So we'd love to see you review that. Hey, if I can get my hands on no, it. No, Happy, I'm it. sorry, Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. Happy Dad Hard Seltzer? Yeah. If I can find it, I'll review it. I didn't bring a readers with me, so. <laughs> hey, I wear glasses too. And after a few of these, I'm not going to read that anymore. Well, I got the contacts in, so. Salute! <laughs> I like the little sweetness with it. It's got a nice feel of the coconut. Kind of mild on the coconut, not over the top. Not over the top, but it's there. You get a nice feel of the vanilla coming through. Definitely kind of a creaminess. Yeah. What I'm picking up, kind of a creamy, creamy coconut texture. vanilla. Get a little tongue prickling, but not overly done. Good carbonation. Just a little bit of bitterness too. Yeah. This is actually pretty crushable. Yeah, it is. And this is 5.3% uh, alcohol by volume. Is that all this was? Was this one? Yeah, I know. I had to double check. Oh, yeah. That's not, that's not the same with my stout side. <laughs> a little bit bigger. <laughs> Feels like a nice beer for fall though. With the yeah. weather breaking. I can see sitting outside around the fire pit enjoying some of this. Yeah, I always say poolside, fire pit, grilling out. Mm -hmm. This is what this is. Late summer, early fall. Yeah. 70, 60 degrees out. Yeah. Funny thing about right now, so we're inside, outside of a couple, and I, this happened earlier. I see a couple of bees that were flying around them. I dropped my wife off for an event. She got a car, she let her be in the car. I had not seen any bees all summer until right now. Same here. <laughs> I from work last night, my wife's like, 
There's bees all over the place. Yeah. Where the hell they come from? It's like they knew to get away for the summer or something, but now they're all popping up again, which is interesting in itself. Mm. This is nice. I'll tell you what, this is a chill location we're at. So, hopefully this stays up because some of the music is popping and we know how YouTube is, but I'm okay, I'm just chilling. Yeah. I'm in a nice mode yeah. right now. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah. You're not sure that already? Oh, so yeah. I'm savoring it. I'm yeah. trying to savor it. They have a good beer. Like, you don't want to rush through it. You want to just let it soak all in, and that's what I'm getting. Pretty excited to get in a couple of the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Mmm. Funny, date is kind of not not of emptiness here. I guess so. It's still early, but it'll it'll liven up here after a bit. I'm assuming, but yeah, I see a lot of what might be empty buildings around on the way here. This is a college game day Saturday. People might be watching some of the games and stuff too. Or we got Warp Wing right over there. Oh, that's where Warp Wing is yeah. right over there. Okay, the red building over there. I was actually asked about rechecking out. It was like maybe a year or two ago. Their Gamma Bomb. Like somebody thought they may have changed the recipe. Have you noticed anything? Yeah, I had it last year, and uh, I think it tastes about the same. Okay. You know? That's definitely an interesting It could have been how it was served, you know, sometimes with the can, so people get the tinny or something like that. I've had it uh, on draft over there, mm -hmm. and uh, in the can. On you know, draft, obviously, better. Yeah. I will tell you, inside of here, they got a great bottle selection of different beers and stuff. So behind me, over this shoulder, you can kind of see some of the stuff there, but these are all beers that are there for sale and stuff that you can get. So yeah, it'll be a beer run going back as well. Oh, no doubt. Thank you, appreciate the like there, my friend. Cheers, cheers, cheers. And if you guys are, well, it's kind of early for you guys, but if you are drinking something, feel free to let us know. I'll try to catch that as well. <laughs> You may be pre-game drinking right now, so. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is good. Yeah, that was nice. What uh, other like ones did we get here? Uh, we got the pumpkin. Is that a 10? That's a 10. Oh, if you want to jump into that one. We can jump into that one there. Um, Sure I get the right That's a masthead pumpkin spice latte milkshake IPA, Ooh. seven and a half percent. Yeah, and uh, heard some good things about this one here too. So, ooh, nice like a spice note on the nose. It smells like real pumpkin, not that fake mm -hmm. pumpkin. I'm getting cinnamon and nutmeg. Oh, I definitely getting nutmeg. Smells good. Uh, Very I was aromatic. Hoping, hoping it wasn't going to be ginger in it. Yeah. Well, the good thing is it comes out rather easily. You don't have to really sniff real hard just to get those notes out. There you go. That's just a nice color, too. Nice copper. Yeah. Real nice color. Ooh, that, that's a nice Ooh. pumpkin. Oh, that is that's a nice a creamy, feel. That's a creamy one. First pumpkin of the year, folks. It's not a bad call. It's not a bad call. <laughs> no. no, this is awesome. This is the first time I've had a pumpkin milkshake IPA. Yeah. Smooth, creamy feel. Nice nutmeg. Kind of get it to the roof of the mouth on the flavor as well. The body is nice, not thinned out, anything along those lines. No. Goes out very smooth in the back end. It's like old school. The way it hits your lips. <laughs> mm. And there's no weird lingering aftertaste. It's just no. a drink. I would say of the pumpkin beers I've had over the years, this is one of the smoothest ones I've actually had. Now because I'm using my phone, I'm not gonna be able to put these on untapped right now. I'll try to remember for later and maybe put those on at that point, but. This is one that's definitely uh, one I would say to try to get if you can. Now, obviously, we're in Ohio, so it depends on where you're at. But we have a few other people in the Ohio area, Kentucky, Indiana, where you may get Masthead if you do get Masthead them. Masthead is out of Cleveland? Cleveland, Cleveland yeah. I believe. And so check them out. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Correct me if I am. Mm. Mm. I 
get a little bit of like a just a little bit of vanilla in here. Yeah. It's almost like that vanilla kind of like a whipped cream type feel. Yeah. Yeah. It is tasty. Yeah, this is much creamier than I thought. What I said, this is seven and a half percent. I like these little glasses too. Yeah, the neat little nice taster little glasses, glasses. Yeah. Get the barrel house logo on there. And they got the hops and hops greater than eight on the back, which is great. Yeah. That'd be great for a t-shirt too. I like watching the people look over from the road, cross from us is the street, and you see people look over and like, oh, I wish I could have a beer right now. <laughs> As we pumpkin. see a total car go by. Well, pumpkin is good, but for me, Warlock is better than pumpkin for Southern Care. But I'm more of a stout guy. This one is pretty solid in itself. In the background, LL. Who's in the background? Don't shake back there. <laughs> But no, this is a nice little spot here in Dayton. I, I'm digging this place. It is. Kind of a little picturesque, kind of getting that little looking out into the town type feel. Plus, you can't beat an actual parking lot. Yeah, actual, actual parking, parking lot. lot here. If you guys don't know about parking in Ohio when you come to the cities, it's a pain in the ass. Columbus, Cincinnati, a lot of places, Dayton, Cleveland, they all just try to rake you over the coals for paying fees for the meters and stuff. Park here, three blocks away and walk. Right, and here they got a nice parking lot right next door, which makes it nice. Only thing about this area, it's called a one-way street. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, the one-way street. On the way here, I was like, this is a one-way street? I don't know. <laughs> I, could, I could probably drink this about any time. Yeah. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna go all great pumpkin, but of all the pumpkin beers I had, this is one I don't feel like I would get burned out on as quickly. Nah, I, I ranked this one up there pretty high. Yeah. Do we have any other ones that match up? Or? Uh, did you get that hoof hearted 15? I did get 15. Did you get 15? Yes, I did. All right, so we could do that one. That's a apricot raspberry sour, I believe. And it, this is hoof hearted. Who like to hold my cupboard? I think this one's nine percent. It's got that murky look to it. Now a lot of you guys have seen me do like the Urban Artifact beers, and it's kind of got like that same muddy type look as well. So it is something with the fruit of sours. Oh, definitely. Man, there's so Ooh. much apricot here. Yeah, it's coming right out of the glass. That tartness is right there too in the nose. It smells like apricot juice. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely awesome. Ooh. Nice pop in the mouth of the flavor. Wow. Not as stringent really, it's just the nice splash. Nice raspberry mm. tartness to it. Sourness from the raspberry. Yeah. Nice sour feel. It's almost like just off of actually if you were having like apricot fruit. I mean, it's just so nice on how it's put together. And I had to wrote that down there. This doesn't taste like 9%. That's probably who farted though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They'll get the fire ABV and sneak them in on you. Hmm. Boy, if this is 9%, this could be dangerous beer. Yeah. Really sits in the cheeks nicely too when you get that flavor. Just kind of douses nicely in there. Definitely, definitely coats them out. Yeah. Yeah, this is really the, nice. Yeah, I got the flavor sitting right behind the lips as well, which is nice. Welcome back inside. <laughs> oh, this is good. I this, I, I could drink this off so long. <laughs> Three in, not a bad beer yet. <laughs> no, no. You danger. I can't drink too much because I got to drive back to oh, Daddy. Yeah, he needs to drive back, back too. Yeah. So, get in a little early here. 
to order some food at some point. Not a sip away. <laughs> Always know your levels. I was getting a feel of pink lemonade in there too. There is like a yeah. like an apricot lemonade, like an mm-hmm. apricot lemonade in there, pink lemonade. Maybe a little bit like a ruby red grapefruit yeah. in there. This is good. Now I always tell people how we're kind of spoiled with some of the stuff. Like people don't realize it, which I don't want y'all to realize it. We got a lot of great beer through Ohio. Oh yeah. Like, these are just two yeah. different other Ohio breweries, but yes, sir. People just don't realize how much they're going. It's going to be coming out more and more that people are starting to notice the beer coming out of this area. Yep. And that's why I've been wearing this shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Try to do it every time. Yeah. Represent these Ohio breweries. Represent the Ohio breweries. They are putting it down. And we had 13 that won medals out of GABF this year, which might have been a bigger year for Ohio. Um, but always holding it down, always representing. They're getting out to more areas now. I know that since now people are seeing Ryan guys up in Massachusetts, yeah. Michigan, in different spots. Uh, Brax has been going big. Even though they're in Northern Kentucky, they're kind of at Cincinnati Brewery. Things like Land Grant, Masthead, they should be getting those. People know Great Lakes. Yep. So a lot of great breweries out of Ohio. If you get a chance to come to this area, what I always do when I go to town, I, where am I going to? I go to Google Same thing. or Yelp. What beer stores or what breweries are near me? Start potting it out, and there's a lot of great stuff throughout the region. Uh, beer house, maybe one more. We'll flight, we'll see. I don't know what beer house said. I missed that one there, but it was about getting crazy or something. I don't know about that. <laughs> mm. I'm also getting a little bit like of a grapefruit in there too. Yeah, definitely a ruby red. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although I will say, too many of these, I don't be feeling it all night long. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's very, very smooth. It's city. Yeah. It's leaving a nice flavor behind on it, too, though. It's got a little bit of a juiciness in there as well, which makes it nice. So it's not drying out at all. I could drink this all night, go home and kiss my wife, and she wouldn't even taste beer. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been out drinking? Nope. <laughs> juice apricot juice. <laughs> you to work in the office, that's the question. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, it looks like it might end up being a fairly nice day. Yeah, it's starting to clear up a little bit out there. Hopefully no nice. more rain. It's been raining much down since the area? We had rain a couple days ago. Well, a few days ago, Wednesday. Thursday was a beautiful like day. Like You felt like fall was here. Really? The sun was out. It was like, it was like 50 degrees. 16 degrees or something like that. And then Friday it rained a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. And then this morning. But it's supposed to clear up, I think, for the rest of the weekend. What else? I checked the weather because I didn't want to bring a jacket. Have any of you guys heard of a metal band in your area called Destruction? Destruction? I have not. No, I never heard of them. Yeah, one thing I've noticed here was. We came in, me and Jay, we had some video stuff to share with our stuff later. Shooting a lot of the beers. They got a lot of beers here that oh, yeah. I had not seen, but done some I wanted. So I may be having a little bit big of a purchase here at the end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to be happening. Yeah. <laughs> the thing with craft beers, you got to get them when you see them on stuff. And sometimes you don't see them, and if you miss it, you'll never see it again. So You know, I was only going to do like four. Or five pumpkin bears this year. Mm-hmm. Like four or five of them over there. I want to get it. Yeah, that's going to pick up. So yeah. But I don't want to be reviewing pumpkin bear. pumpkin bears come November. Yeah. <laughs> Might get Gus and Matt to come over. Gus actually runs the place here. Hello's my favorite maker. Doing good. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. Cheers. Dean from over in the UK, in England. You know Dean's yeah. beer reviews? Yeah, so I gotta do another collab with Dean at some point too. We have a blast when we get together and do these videos. Cheers to you, my friend. Hopefully Saturday is going well. 
I know that in the UK, apparently everybody's buying gas for whatever reason. So <laughs> I don't know if there's something going on with your guys' gas shortage that we don't know about in the States, but it seems like I keep seeing posts about people buying all the petrol over there. So it's kind of interesting. <laughs> Who knows what's going on over there? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what's all going on over here at the time. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> Let's see here. So I think that's the three that we had the same of. Because I've got the scientists left and the two stouts. You did get 17, 19, or 7, did you? No, I got 17. You got 17? Yeah. You want to do that one next? Yeah, which one? Uh, I've already lost track of my <laughs> It's here. So Two, three. Well, you only got one stout left, that, so it has yeah. to be that one. Yes, you are right, sir. So this is Untitled Art in their espresso honey. I don't know if you got more details on it or not, but I only wrote uh, Let's it. see here. I wrote down, um, this is... Ooh. Oh my God, that smells That delicious. smells real. Yeah. Talk about dessert in a glass. I don't know if anybody else does it like Untitled Art does. They make it seem like dessert in a glass all the time. You said this is an apricot, orange, cherry, coconut, almond pastry style. Yeah. Every time someone says almond, I think it's a Snickers commercial. You ever see that? The almond and the almond? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a classic commercial. <laughs> I like almond. <laughs> I like almond. This really, does, <laughs> this really does smell like a dessert yeah. pastry. This is nice. I mean, this is like something of a dessert smell. Like if you were at a fine dining restaurant, you know, we're not talking about Waffle House here. We're talking about a nice little fine dining cuisine type thing, and they bring out the dessert. I feel like I'm getting some chocolate. I'm getting almost like a caramel not toffee but kind of a richness in there on the nose hey my bad rod espresso honey imperial milk stout 12 this is 12 percent yeah 12 percent abv here you definitely get the honey oh, coming I out get that honey. it's almost like a honey drizzle in effect mm. smooth carbonation not getting a lot of tongue prickling but it's just a little bit wow after the swallow the after effect kicks in. Yeah. That honey right there on the tongue, that chocolate. You're getting a decadence with this one here, almost like some type of drizzle drink you would get at Starbucks. It's just like this caramel type style layer and that takes place. Mm. Oh, that baby sits on the back of the lips and just like, hello. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> mm. Just a little bit. A little bit of that alcohol. Yeah. You get a little it's bit of that alcohol coming through. More than what it is. But that a little 12%. bit does leak through, so you get a taste of that as well. Oh, this is good. I mean, it's like a caramelly type beer in a way. It's just, it's kind of soft in the body of it. For espresso, I don't get a lot of coffee in here. Not getting a lot of the coffee. No, it's more like there's, a dessert. There's there. It's more like the dessert type, back end type thing. I taste this, and this to me is like having one of the fancy coffee drinks at a Starbucks. That's what yeah. I call it. Those girls to me. Definitely got a little like bit of Like where you don't sweetness. really get a lot of coffee in that espresso type drink. Right. Because right. you're getting all the sweetness and stuff. Sweetness is definitely there in this one. Let me look it out in the bottle, see if Wolf or Brimley's hanging out. <laughs> Oh, that's good. This is like one you just want to chill with, sit back. Oh, this is a If sipper. I had a cigar, I'd have a nice cigar if I was out back. Again, fire pit, whatever, just chilling, relaxing. This would come into play nicely. That, again, it's just the thing that sticks out the most is that smooth sweetness. I'm a big fan of caramel. Like, I used to, like, Halloween was my favorite candy with the caramel squares you would oh, get. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I just get that layered of the caramel in there. It does have that caramel macchiato mm -hmm. type of vibe going on here. It smells yeah. amazing, though. Mm. 
And again, it's that after effect where it just hangs out there and lingers. And this is always a great one, this type of style, because you can put it down, you can have a conversation, and all kinds of stuff. You're not rushing to finish the beer, and you're being left with the tones of all the flavors in the left exactly. side, which is nice. Mm. Yeah, I'm a fan of this one. They're very nice. On title art, I have not went wrong with them yet. No, no, they always deliver. <sighs> oh yeah. When I first got into craft beer, stout took me a while to come around to them. Yeah. What's the hardest style it took you to get into? You think was it? For me, it was definitely stouts. It was dark okay. stouts. So you think you got into stouts? Took harder to get into that than say like. Barley wine or yeah, I got into that. Belgians. You know, I started like everybody, uh, the light beers, okay, and all that crap, and then um, probably IPAs. First. IPAs. IPAs was the first thing I got into. Yeah. Then I probably evolved into sours. Yeah. And uh, into the stouts. Okay. Stouts and porters. What's your thought like on the IPAs? Like I always feel like people ask sometimes like about IPAs on the market. I feel like IPAs on the market because. I don't know if it's because people are asking for them or because they're being forced upon us. Like with a lot of breweries. Like people are saying what well, a customer wants this, but yeah, like, we got all the different styles of beer we can put out right. there. But everybody like I get I get fatigued with IPAs. Do you? Yeah. So there's so many there's so many types of IPAs though. Yeah. So it gets this like I don't like IPAs. Well what I don't like West Coast. I don't like New England style. I don't like milkshake. They can taste completely different. Yeah. Right? So I don't know if they're getting forced on us. I think the name IPA just has this like stigma to it, right? Everybody's yeah. like, I don't like it. I don't, I, you know how many people I talk to, I don't like IPAs. I don't yeah. like IPAs, why? They're too hoppy. Oh, you haven't drank a bunch of different IPAs then. Yeah, well, yeah, it was a, there are definitely some that aren't that hoppy. Um, but I know talking to some of the breweries that I've talked to, I think some of them feel like they have to keep putting them out as much. Because I know some breweries that like, I would like to make a Keller beer, or I'd like to make a Schwartz beer, some other stuff, but everybody wants IPAs. Yeah. And they're afraid of going that way, and then you're making this beer that nobody's drinking. Right. Which could be a great beer as well. Um, Natty Light made Natter Day flavored vodka. I did. I actually talked about that on one of the uh, podcasts I did as well. I think we may have talked about it on one of the Toss One Back. That's an interesting place. I don't know if you've seen that yet or not. What is it? You have Natter Day vodka sound. What is it? No, no. No, Dude, that today, me, they, I something today. They made a strawberry one, I think a black cherry, and another flavor, but 30% ABV, 750 milliliter. Really? Yeah, yeah. They're in the stores already that you can. Did you feature it on your channel? I talked about it on one of their podcasts or a okay. channel or something, but yeah, it was interesting when I saw that because I never thought like you would see a Natter Day vodka out there. They're just trying to stay relevant. Yeah, they, they are. But I tell you what, Natter Day. Say what you want about nat, uh, natural light or whatever like that. That one was one I actually enjoyed when it came out. And it's funny, they did a, I talked about this last year, or the year before last when it happened. They did a blind tasting at one of the beer fests about the beer. Nobody knew what it was and it ended up winning for best beer. Really? And then it turned out being the Natter Day lemonade, pink lemonade thing they had. Yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. So. It, I Which mean, that wasn't that bad. No, it That's wasn't. A nice it summertime wasn't. beer. But people had the stigmatism of it being that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually just went back on my cheap beer reviews yeah. and did natural light. Yeah, natty light. Yeah. And sometimes you got to shake the stigmatism. Yeah. But I have to tell you, like the Pabst Hard Coffee is actually not bad. It's not bad. Not I, bad at all. I reviewed their uh, cold brew and mm -hmm. their hard coffee. They're both pretty good. Yeah. I mean, say what you will, they're pretty good. Yeah, and then... If you I, like that stuff, yeah. they're good. I mean, I did the Pat's Hard Coffee. I've done the Guinness uh, Coffee. They came yeah, out Yeah, that was good, the cold brew. I actually preferred the Pat's, though. I did, too. I did yeah, too. which is surprising, so, yeah. Which I did mention earlier, um, this week on the podcast, Guinness is setting up another brewery here in the States, I'm trying to remember what state it's actually in. Because um, they have the one in Baltimore, and by 20, uh, Chicago, they're putting a new brewery tap house in Chicago. They're trying to get open by St. Patty's Day 2023. So, which is great, because 
when you think of Chicago and St. Patty, they like oh, oh, yeah. the river green. Yeah, green so right. they're going to have like a Guinness spot there. So if you don't get to the one in Baltimore and you're in the Midwest, you can head to Chicago and try to get Guinness there on tap as well. Uh, what's about the PBR coffee that does taste like Starbucks wrap? Yeah, the, it does. It tastes like it a does. Starbucks I mean, Frappuccino. Which, I'm guilty. I think those, those are like 5% alcohol. Yeah. So yeah those, are, five. those could be dangerous in the hands of the wrong person. I think they're five. Is the Guinness four, maybe, though? Uh, I can't. I reviewed I can't it remember. on the channel. Check yeah. that out. And uh, I can't remember what it is off yeah. the Yeah, and if you guys haven't checked out Jay, check out this guy, Thoughts. I'm not sure if I have any of the moderators watching right now because I'm trying to catch comments. Do they come in and do they disappear? But if any of the moderators are watching, if you could put this guy's thoughts channel in the comments, check this guy out. Great stuff that he's actually doing on his channel. Definitely a sipper. Definitely yeah. nice. What I like about it too is the sweetness. It's not overtaking it. Like sometimes you get beers too sweet and you're like, okay, that's enough of that. This one is just playing along nicely. I hope they make hard espresso. They have another flavor coming out from Pat's. And I don't know if it is an espresso or not, but I think Pat's did another coffee. Did they? I think they did, or they so were working on it. I've seen the two it. of them. I've seen the two, the cold brew. Mm hmm. It really is. I can get strawberry lemonade for 95 cents at a local store. Nice. <laughs> Do we put that under a Rod J deal? Do we put
There's no way. I'm thinking they might have did something back up here. It's like, this isn't a beer. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, what a brunch. Calling it a pastry sour, a sour. There's a nice sourness to it, a tartness, a little bit of a bitterness on the end. Yeah. More of that acidic that's from the fruit that's in here. I haven't heard a gorilla song since. I don't even remember. I got the CD and I haven't heard a gorilla song still like in the longest time. I love the song. The young viewers are like, what's a CD? Yeah, well, yeah, you know. The millennials, or the generation wires, you know, I don't even know what generation it is now. Honestly, they, I, I could pound this. I could, yeah, I could pound this all day long. <laughs> You're doing good. all right with it, my brother. You're doing all right right now with it. So I'm going to actually grab this one here, which is going to be from Seventh Son, who are out of Columbus, and this is their scientist. This is their West Coast IPA. I had that a few years ago, but what they were saying back there is each time they brew it, they change the hops. They change it. Nice aroma. A little bit of a pine. And a birthday turf. A little bit of a fruitiness in there. A little orange, a little grapefruit. Definitely get hit with some of that bitterness. Good flavor. Good tongue prickling of the carbonation. Syrupy type feel. I get that in a lot of IPAs or West Coast or even East Coast. Some of the syrupiness and the texture kind of. But as far as a West Coast IPA defined, this one is right on point. A little bit of lacing there on the glass as well. Showed that one up there, that juicy. That looks like some juice. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like a juice cocktail at brunch or something. Yeah. Get the nice flavor in the cheek area. One thing I'll say is interesting about this whole thing is just, it's chill. Like right now, usually I'd be at home watching the console football game or anything, and it's just like, I'm just in a chill mode here. Yeah. It's it just is. like, you don't even think about it. It's just like, there's no TVs in here, people are just hanging out, and you're just like chill with everything. I'm kind of dreading that drive back home. Well, yeah. I'm like yeah. back home, I can sit here all day. Yeah. Like um, to drive back and take the store with me, right? <laughs> Hey, if they had a TV with the game on it, I'd be here like five hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not afraid to. There we go, the electric scooter guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those things are always out on the road for sure. Yeah, the city's starting to wake up now. Yeah. The bus came flying by pretty quickly, though. And it's date. You move or you get hit. I have Ohio Brewery catalogs that I show most breweries there. What I got from, ah, oh, damn comments from Beelers. Nice. What's up, Sonami? It is a nice drinking spot. It's a very nice drinking spot. And uh, as I come back to Dayton more and more, it will be the drinking spot probably I'll stop in. Got some over here. You know, they're serving beers. Aaron, what are your big birthday plans? Ooh. Uh, I have a lot of great plans. Uh, 
There's Matt. Yeah. Hey Matt, you want to come in and tell people about Barrel House? Yes, we have done with the flight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Getting that quick text in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't drive and text, lady. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah, I was actually driving this morning on our way here. We stopped to get gas. Coming through the parking lot, it was like at a Kroger. Coming out, and some dude's trying to come through the lanes, cutting lanes. Slam with a horn, like, what are you doing? Like, you just don't speed out through the lanes to get in front. He looks and he still jumps over. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, he's still like, come on in, Gus. Yeah. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> so this is actually Gus, who's actually the Hi, owner I'm down Gus. here. Can I post stuff just back here? Yeah, post stuff, yeah, whatever. whatever. We are, we're both vaccinated too, by the way. Yeah. Awesome. So, okay. <laughs> well, how do I... You're right in the middle. Now, yeah, I'm wearing my halo. That, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. You're an angel. <laughs> so tell them about Barrel House and what you guys do down here. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hi, people. Are we live? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Shit, yeah, that's fun. Really cool. <laughs> uh, so, hi, my name is Gus. Uh, myself and my wife, Sarah, own this goofy little place. We're called Barrel House, downtown Dayton, Ohio. And basically our mission is to not have any shitty beer or wine available. The, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I basically, my job around here is I do a lot of graphic design, I curate the tap list, and then my wife Sarah curates the shelves, all the beer that's available, and bottles, cans, all the wine and everything. And we just try to have an unpretentious place to come enjoy good alcohol with good people and uh, have a good time doing it. How long have you been doing it down here? So, we have been doing it since late 2017, December, November 2017, we bought the place. Uh, previously owned by a gentleman named Jeff Heater. Okay. And uh, his background was in like theater stage set design. So, he built this place all from the ground up by hand, pretty much. Okay. Which is why it's so beautiful in here. Yeah, um, like, it like, is. It is. Yeah, the ambience is. Ambience. <laughs> it's just fantastic, and there's no way we could have done that. So, yeah. awesome. Thank you to Jeff for building such a beautiful spot. And yeah. Then, uh, he was looking to get out of the business. We bought it in 2017. Yeah. And we've been going out of it ever since. Excellent, excellent. And you guys will see some of this stuff inside here on another video that I released on the channel that I shot. But um, the artwork and everything there is freaking awesome. The beer selection is. Oh, it's on incredible. Point. It's on point. It's incredible. Yeah. Well, I mean, for a small shop, you guys are getting in some of the beers that are hard to get from some of the too. So it's not for like sure, walking sure. into a lot of places. And I see that here everywhere. I see this here everywhere. I see it. all your stuff is like, damn, I've been wanting to get this. Yeah, and, stuff exactly. like, you know? yeah. Well, it, it, and I think Sarah's big mentality is like, uh, you've walked around. It's a small spot, right? We have right. a very finite amount of shelf space, mm -hmm. so we could carry the stuff that you see everywhere or we could carry only the dope shit and, mm -hmm. you know what i mean that, yeah. b b because wh why are you going to buy a six pack of miller light for example yeah here rather than the gas station where you're already going to fill up the tank right right so so she's got to be very selective with what she brings in and she does a just incredible job at it i don't I, I was a buyer for years um, before I even met Sarah. I don't know how she pulls off some of the shit. Well, you'll so, definitely give her my best because I've known Sarah probably since 2018, I think. So I think we connected back on LinkedIn on stuff when I started following you guys, and um, you guys do a tremendous job down here and stuff. Just, Thank you. Just with everything here, the places I've been, the places I go to. There's a few stores like. That stick out, right? You go to places and it's like, you could walk into a place and I was showing Jay earlier because he had not had like the, the bells too hard, double hard, right? I was like, right. you go to a lot of places, you get to all the rack the bells or whatever, but it's like, no, we're just going to have it too hard in this. Like, only there's stuff that stands out from that, which right. is great. So, for sure. You for see sure. that with that, you see that with the local breweries, the land grant, the, all the other ones that you see here, and it's just great to be able to go to a place where, okay, these guys know what they're doing. 
Right. Yeah. Well, and, and, and it's not one of those things where we're only cherry picking like the limited releases, you know? Like, yeah. Bells, I, I think Two Hearted is arguably the best IPA. Yeah. In the well, a lot of people don't agree with you there. Yeah. yeah so, and <laughs> for that reason, we've always gotten into cooler. You know? Yeah. Just because, like, with, I, I can close my eyes and taste Bells Two Hearted. Yeah. Right? And it's just like the best IPA because it's just so classic and perfect, and that's what we want. We don't necessarily want just the super hyper limited stuff. It's quality above mm -hmm. all else. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's the thing that makes it different is the quality. And myself, we didn't talk about this earlier, but I used to be a, a DJ back in the 90s. So yeah, yeah. I was on the radio as a DJ. And that is the record collection, the music, and all that kind of stuff. Like, we were talking oh, yeah. earlier, like, we could just stay here all day and have to drive back to where we have to drive back to, right? So, like, <laughs> so come back on a Sunday, because on Sundays, we pop open the turntable, and we invite people to bring in records. Oh, oh nice. And, and we eat donuts. Nice. We always have free donuts on Sundays. Yeah. We really? call it Final Final Sunday. Yeah. Listen to music, eat donuts, drink beer, and chill out. That's... So if you don't have plans for tomorrow morning, <laughs> right here. Come to Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were talking about Ohio beer earlier. I mean, for you guys, it's got to be a little hard cutting down to who you want to have featured because there's so many good beers coming out of Ohio. So many. Yeah, 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 for sure. And so you're trying to make that selection, not just with Ohio, but if you're looking at Michigan or Indiana or all these other spots, you're like, what do we take in? What do we not take in? So right. That's got to be some research that you guys got to really put into. Yeah, for sure, because it's one of those things like there are, you know, 10 years ago, if you wanted to be a standout beer spot, you just had to have craft beer on the shelf. Yeah. And that was enough. But now there's so much craft beer that you really have to kind of know a little bit to pick and choose. Like, oh, that's going to be the shit. And I might not have tried this beer from this brewery, but I've tried their other beers and they're all amazing. Yeah. So I trust that that's going to be good. These cats, I don't know, you've been a little hit or miss, we'll hold off on you. It's, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely knowing the beer and the breweries and on the business side of things, you know, what, what what's going to get the beer geek scales back into. Right, right. Yeah, well, you guys did a fantastic job. Um, well, I appreciate it. I'm looking over there like old old poster from Splits from back in the day. So yeah. you guys have captured some of the history on stuff as well. Heck yeah. It's a fantastic spot. It's fantastic. Thank you. To see you know, the books on the wall there and stuff. Yeah, I feel like reading a little something. Is, you know. Yeah, I mean, we got folks that will come in by themselves, grab a beer, grab a book, and just post up for an hour and, yeah. you know, soak it up. Now this is an awesome spot. So again, if you guys are in Dayton, Ohio area, definitely recommend swinging by, checking it out. Great feel to everything here, pretty much. I mean, oh, yeah. the tap list is freaking awesome as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. nice. You can definitely tell thought was put into it on what we're gonna have on tap. So. Yeah, tap list is my baby. Yeah, yeah, that's what I get to brag about. <laughs> so I've got it set up in the back. It's not. It's not just thrown together, right? Each draft line is organized by style. So, okay. okay. Tap number three will always be some sort of lager. Yeah. Tap number four is always going to be like a crushable sour. Yeah. Tap five is my wheat line, and on and on. Well, I love seeing Saunders because that's where I'm from where I'm down at. So yeah, yeah. They're doing some great beers out of Mason. Yeah. Their beer is great. Their kitchen they've got in there is incredible. Oh, too. they they team up with uh, Brew River Gastro Pub. Yeah. We got some great food down there. Their food is yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Well, right on, gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you for the chat and well, coming and you. doing yeah. this video. Wow. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Appreciate you having us in, hospitality and everything. So it's definitely Always. been nice. Been nice. Anytime. What beer you got left? Oh, uh, let's see. Which one is that? I believe this is my. Modest Brewing, I guess. Let's see here. I lost track. <laughs> I lost track of my, my star here. You gotta follow the star. Yeah, I gotta follow star. the star there, right? They have a setup on their flights where you follow the star. It tells you where around the board you're actually out of your beer. Yeah, but it's not like centered. It's, it's not centered. Off. It is, so it is off. off. Yeah. yeah. I believe this is my Modest Brewing Company. 
I don't think you've talked about that one, so it must Hyper likely is. Soul. Sure. Okay. What, it's called Hyper Soul? Nice. Hyper Solid? I wrote that down before I had five little uh, testers. I know it's 6% alcohol by volume. So okay. Well, I do get a nice, it's a sour. It's a maybe sour IPA, actually. Definitely IPA, definitely citrusy, grapefruit. Everything I love in an IPA is right yeah. here. Oh, it smells delicious. You know, is that sun really blasting this? I'm not sure. It is I'm blasting. Sure. I don't know where yeah. it's coming from. It's starting to come up. The sun's behind this, so we should be yeah, good. Yeah, now fine. it's there. Yeah. See, now it's showing. Oh, there fine. we go. Yeah. There we go. It's weird. Damn technology. <laughs> This is a juice bomb. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is nice. That's it in the spot. Grapefruit. Coach the tongue. Get that grapefruit. Yeah. It hits the tongue as it flows through. Look at that bitter hoppiness kicks in. No nasty lingering aftertaste yet. Yeah, fantastic. 6%. I like my IPAs six to seven, between six and eight. That's yeah. like crushable. Yeah. This hits the spot right there. <laughs> definitely, definitely a juice bomb. What do you got left over there? Well, what I got left over here is the Wolf Ridge Dire Wolf. Coquito. <laughs> you wrote your stuff so much easier than my the well, my notes up there. I just wrote a little bit because I can't remember everything with it. But this one here, just know this one thing: it's rum barreled. You guys know I love my rum oh. barrel beer. So yeah, it smells, that smells really smells. nice. Coconut coming right out. Vanilla. I tell you what, if we had my buddy Joe here from the Beer Patrol, he'd be in love with this place because it's coconut and a lot of these different beers are doing. Joe, look forward to your return, man. Yeah, it was awesome. I had Joe back on a couple weeks ago. Joe was one of the originators that we did when we were doing the beer stuff on Thursday night. He came back and it was great having him on there. Oh, this is, smells so good. You remember beer, it like, smells so good, you're like, you don't want to drink it. You just sniff it all day long. And you're you afraid. It. Like, oh, yeah. It tastes good, mess it up. <laughs> Oh man, that's like liquid gold right there. <laughs> Smooth, the, it's layered. You're getting a feel of the sweetness of the coconut. A little bit of vanilla in there. Goes down the back end real easy. So it's another one that's like another sipper. Did you write the ABV down on that one? I didn't, but I think it's 12 something. Yeah, it's got to be at least 10. Yeah. yeah. Gets into the cheek area, sits nicely. Right now, and I got Tom Tom Club playing, Genius of Love, so I'm pretty much chill as can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Again, it's like old school. Frank the Tank. The way it hits your lips. <laughs> Just smooth. <laughs> oh, man. Everybody's like, what are these guys doing? They say you can't drink all day unless you start early. <laughs> that's, that's the truth, right? No other way around that. It's kind of funny. It's like, I've been to some place where I shot video. And people are like, can I be in your video? Like, what's going on? Can I be in your like, It's like, people just come over and ask to be in the yeah. video and stuff, so. Or people are like, looking like, what's going on over there? So. But they were very hospitable here and uh, let us come in and do some stuff and talk about their beers. Very, but very welcoming. This one right here. You're not getting any of the booziness really creeping through. We talked about the other one where you get a little bit of that booziness. You're yeah. not getting that coming through. It's just so smooth. That your favorite of the day? Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. The Wolf's Ridge. I think it may be. 
The untitled art was nice. Oh, the untitled art. Well, we can't that forget the nice. land grant in the beginning, but I am more of a stout guy than an IPA type guy. And this one just speaks to me. Yeah, I'm throwing this IPA yeah. in right here. This, this might have been uh, the top one I have of the day right now. At least you saved it for last. Yeah. But that pumpkin beer. The pumpkin was that good. Pumpkin that pumpkin was, was good really to start good. Out yeah. With. Mm. Again, kind of like the Untitled, like the sweetness there, but it doesn't feel over sweet. So it's like you can just sit there and enjoy this one over a period of time. Nice. I mean, if I was out back right now drinking this, listening to the Tom Tom Club, sitting at the fire pit, I wouldn't be moving for a couple hours. I'd just be like, yeah. Because that's not something I want in the world. Maybe a fat hamburger or something. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I could use a cheeseburger right now. A slice of pizza. Yeah. Outside of that, I'm good to go. I'm like, no worries, no concerns, and just kick back and chill. Mm. This has that caramel layer type effect with it as well, too. Mm, that is really good. Back right now, take about a half hour nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wake up, get another flag. Yeah. <laughs> like, why? We got a wife, honey. I'm gonna be home a little bit later. <laughs> yeah. Now, honey, can you come and get me? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, that's why I drank these early with some of the bigger ABV, so it's like not sitting on you, but yeah. No, this is really all nice. But again, if you guys haven't watched Jay's channel, for you guys that might be just jumping in, this guy's thoughts. Great stuff that he's doing over there. Beer, ciders, other drinks. Yeah, coffees, energy drinks, mixing up the content. Keeping it original. Some more people. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> hey. Hey. Good. Good to see you again. You as well. Seems to be a nice little community spot here. What are you saying? How's the market? Good. Good. It's funny, like it's interesting because yeah. Dayton is actually one of the more progressive cities that you can just see everybody walking around with their masks and stuff too, which is which is nice to see. Yeah. Well, they may be coming over here too. Yeah, actively drinking. They got a nice flow. Oh yeah, coming in here. It seemed like it'd be a nice spot to hang out on a Saturday, just to kick back, relax. Friendly staff. Yeah. Knowledgeable staff too. Yeah. Yeah. And willing to accommodate. Mm hmm Whatever. Yeah. No, I'm glad we got a chance to get over here and check this place out. Yeah, like we were saying earlier, I think I've been doing my channel for four years now. You were one of the first people that I actually established a, like, a relationship with. Mm -hmm. It feels like I know you, man. Yeah. It feels like, I, like when I saw you, like, yeah, there's Rod right there and he's in his FUV, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. It's like you, you do this and you talk over a amount of time and... You do build that connection. You know you've never seen a person maybe in real life. You feel like you've known them enough because you've had so many conversations with them. You may know so many people you know more through the internet than you do actually in real life or stuff sometimes. So it's, that's how it's always been. Everybody I've kind of met and everything. So I always enjoy getting out to meet the other people that I'm doing the videos with or talking about beer and stuff like that. And when I went to New Jersey last month, I met up with Alex, the beer master. And okay. It was like we knew each other already. It was like exactly. it was just like you know, there's no walls to knock down or whatever. Like no, we're already no, there. No. Yeah. So when we talk about our careers, what we do for a living, yeah, that type of stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's great. It's like that's why I would say beer is like the great elixir of all the elixirs out there because it's like. 
grab a beer, let's talk, let's chat, let's have a good time. You know, you're not getting sloshed, you're not like, you do it with spirits, you're gonna probably get two by two, somebody too drunk or whatever. And yeah. Why is kind of a little bit more in the face or anything? Maybe you have a nice little beer, you talk, and you know people over time. And Although we get somebody's 10, 12%, who knows what's gonna happen. That could happen, happen. That, right? You end up in a wrestling match, but you know. <laughs> You know, we can come together with this, what we like here. Yeah. We have to worry about politics. We yeah. have to worry about that crap no. going on. I think my next t-shirt might be chill out and have a beer. <laughs> that, that would be nice. <laughs> that might be the next t-shirt. Chill you out see at the have rise. an imperial stout. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Get a picture of the dude on there or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Who doesn't like the dude, right? So, yeah. <laughs> but no, this is actually excellent. Probably gonna get another flight here, or maybe like one other beer or something. I don't wanna get too angry, like that. we gotta drive yeah, after Yeah, drive, right. But uh, I'm gonna order some food, probably. So, are you gonna get something to eat? I'm probably gonna have to. Probably have to. So probably gonna end this one here, but we may come back with another live stream after we order food. I gotta use my phone, which obviously I'm using for a camera right now, so I don't wanna poke you guys all in the eye. But <laughs> if you guys are still out there, hang out. We might be back with another live stream here. Appreciate all you guys that tuned in. Hopefully you guys are off to a great Saturday and uh, catch up with you guys soon. Be safe. Sorry, poking you now. <laughs>